Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to transfer uh, your information from an Android phone to an iPhone. In this particular example, we're doing it from um, the Samsung Galaxy Core Prime to the iPhone 5SE. And um, first thing you want to do is on your Android phone, you're going to want to go to the Play Store, which is this app right here. And you're just going to type in uh, move to iOS, which is the app we're going to be using and install this app and Once uh, the app is installed it will walk us through what we need to do to transfer uh, Most of our information over to our iPhone. So we're going to open it up here and So it says use this app to copy messages photos and more from this Android phone to a new iPhone or iPad So hit continue agree and it says find your code if you do not see on your iPhone make sure your iPhone your iPhone is in setup and have selected move to Android so this is one of sort of the the tough parts about um, transferring your information is that you actually have to be in the setup um, of your iPhone so if someone already sort of set your phone up for you then uh, you're sort of screwed because you're gonna have to like Basically factory reset your phone and then start over again to get to this part So let me walk you through how to do that. Okay, so let's just say you're on this screen and You know, you're basically past the part this phone is telling you to be at so you actually have to go to settings and You're gonna have to go to General General and then you're going to come down to reset and then erase all content and settings erase iPhone erase again so the whoever set it up for you is probably going to uh, probably wrote down your Apple ID and your password if you have that great make sure you have that password handy because um, you're gonna need to input that right here so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my um, password for my um, Apple account if you don't have that uh, it's not gonna let you reset the phone so um, you're gonna have to find that first and so I just inputted um, Apple ID and the password and it's gonna reset the iPhone back to factory settings and then um, we're just gonna walk basically we'll have to set the phone up again and there's an option where it'll ask you uh, how you want to uh, set your phone up and then you'll choose uh, Android from an Android device. So um, we're just gonna sort of fast forward because sometimes this part takes a little bit of time. So, And here we go. So about two minutes went by. The iPhone did uh, reset to factory settings. So now we're just gonna do a quick setup here. Uh, choose your language, your country, um, connect to your Wi-Fi network. And obviously you want to make sure both devices are on Wi-Fi. Um, actually, I don't, I don't know if that's a requirement. They both have to be on, but I think it works smoother if they're both on the same Wi-Fi network. So I would just say connect to them personally. All right. So after we connect, okay, location services enable. We'll click set up later for touch ID. Um, if you tap passcode options and don't add password, we can just jump right past this. Here we go. So this is the screen you wanna be on. Um, so at this point, you're gonna tap on move data from Android. It looks like this is the only, only way to move your information from Android. You have to do it in the setup versus obviously beginning of the video, the phone was already semi set up so it wouldn't let us go back to do this so that's why we had to factory reset to get here so we're gonna tap on move data from Android and it could so here is telling you to download this app which we've already done hit continue and 
We're gonna hit next on this phone now, and we're gonna input this code, so 801. And this is a unique code, so it's gonna change every time, so. Um, put the code in, the phones will connect. So actually, this phone sets up its own Wi-Fi network and this connects to it. So you don't necessarily have to be on the same networks for it to work, that's what it looks like. So at this point, the iPhone is gonna, it's connecting to this phone and it's gonna look at, it's gonna look at all the information on this phone and see what can it take from that phone. So right now it's found my email account, which is awesome, um, text messages, and my camera roll, so pictures. So those are the three things it's probably gonna take right now. I, it doesn't show it here, but I actually noticed that when you do the transfer, it will take some of the apps. If you have like mainstream apps like Pandora, Spotify, Netflix, Hulu, things like that that are sort of universal on iOS and Android, it will take those as well. Uh, the coolest thing I like is it, again, it takes your email information. All you have to do is on the new phone, you do have to put in your password to like sign into those email accounts, but it, it takes a lot of that information. It also takes your, your, your browser information. So understand that Google, like there's a ton of information that's stored in your email address. So like, um, let me go ahead and hit next while I'm jabbing over here. So next, so while it's transferring. So like I noticed when I went to the internet, it had all my bookmarks saved. Um, it should also take contacts as well. So it takes a lot of your information, which this takes a lot of the work out of moving because normally when you switch platforms it's a big hassle and look at that that fast it's done now granted i didn't have a ton of stuff on this phone i didn't have any video i just had a couple of pictures i had email accounts so if you have a lot of information on your android phone this will take longer um so just be aware of that we're gonna hit done and that's it guys this is how you transfer your information from uh, an Android phone to uh, an iPhone and in this particular example we did the iPhone 5 SE So hope you guys did find this helpful make sure you like favorite share the video if it was helpful And make sure you also subscribe to H2 tech videos and have a good one